Hello guys and welcome to Skyrim Mods of the Week episode 4 and let's not waste any time uh, the first mod we're going to look at is the beauty faces for female mods which make shut up which make um, female characters in Skyrim look much better so I'm just going to appear right here and here we go uh, not only has my character changed uh, very little, but uh, the changes are there. The faces are much more smooth and much more brighter Need and have much more uh, smoother textures, as it were. It makes the females look much brighter. As you can see here, there's a picture on the side which shows the difference between vanilla and this mod. So uh, go and download it if you want to see prettier Good girls. Alright, and the next mod, as you all may be aware, that there is a modern bard going around. Uh, called Malika, who sings not only uh, the dragon born comes, but uh, sort of mixed with uh, the Doverkin song. Uh, well, apparently there's a mod for that, which allows you to download that music, but not only download the music, but make it sort of in the Hello, game. Hello, I'm Gizli. You can just call me Erica's sister. Everyone Hello, does. Erica's sister. Uh, that you can play it in every tavern you go to. So you just download that to the file folder and if you put that in the file folder the world, to make requests. every tavern you go into the music starts playing as you can see here so sure what can I do for you what can I do for play you now? sure my voice could use a rest so as you can see it's sort of playing right now uh, but I feel the song needs a little bit more drums so what could be used as drums Oh, there we go. Sorry, I have to make a mess here. Oh. Hello, I'm Gizli, but you can just call me Erica's sister. Everyone does. Alright, it wasn't that nice. Well, uh, that basically, if you download that, that plays in every tavern you go to. It's not only in the Weeking Skeever, but also other taverns in other towns as well. So that plays. So let's pretty escape here. And let's look at the next the mod. Uh, the next mod we're looking into is the Sparta Armour mod. And here Sounds is an example which replaced all uh, Imperial right Armour with the sort of uh, Sparta uh, setup. Right, if you can look to each uh, left and right, all the pictures there, that's what it looks like. And as you can see, Legate Avenius Serenius. Has adopted it in game. Now the problem with this huh? is that well, it looks kind of cool uh, because they have no heavy armor. They pretty much go down in two shots. Now, I don't know if that character is weak himself or whether the fact they don't have heavy armor just two slashes can kill them. So that might be a problem if you don't shield. And uh, another thing about this thing is it doesn't make the girls undress either. I think it only it only works on males, as you can see here. Now the reason I like this armor is not because I like looking at half-naked men, as you might put below. I can prove that. And why would I want to look at half-naked men when I have naked pictures of your mum? No, the reason I like it is because I'm imagining the average temperature of Skyrim is about five degrees, and dressing the Imperial soldiers this way not only invoke insight in the sense that heavy armor only restricts movement, or indeed that they're so well trained that they don't need heavy armor, 
but in the cold of Skyrim, they are able to keep resolute and strong, and that contrast really alters the story for me. In that, not only are the rebels up against the might of the Empire, but like, disciplined soldiers who can not only beat them, but handle the cold of Skyrim just as well. Uh, really adding that tension to their cause. Not to mention it looks much better than the usual boring red-blue colour system. Feel free to talk about that or just leave some retarded comment about an arrow in your knee. Alright, that was Skyrim Mods of the Week Episode 4. Sorry about the filler. Hopefully there'll be some more mods next week. Uh, see you then.